Good day ladies and gentlemen. It's no longer news that COVID-19 vaccination is now possible and ongoing in Switzerland. Sooner or later, you and your loved ones might be considering getting vaccinated. The good news is that the vaccination is voluntary and free of charge for people living in Switzerland. The objective of this video is to provide the audience with adequate explanation and answers to important questions in regards to COVID-19 vaccination. Why should I get vaccinated? The novel COVID-19 virus is highly contagious. The vaccine offers a high level of protection against the virus. With the combination of vaccine, proper hygiene, and adherence to global best practices as regards to disease outbreak, we stand a chance as a people and a nation in containing the coronavirus pandemic and its spread, to reduce the number of deaths and hopefully putting it behind us at some point. Do you know that one out of six of those who are hospitalized has to be admitted in intensive care? One out of a hundred dies of coronavirus? For those who are 65 years and above, the risk of being admitted to hospital with coronavirus increases by 10 to 20 percent because of their age. From the age of 70, the risk of dying from coronavirus increases by 3 to 14 percent. If you are vaccinated, you help to limit the chances of infecting others and most especially the people in high-risk groups. When can I be vaccinated? The vaccine doses are only available in limited numbers and will be delivered to Switzerland in batches. Therefore, the vaccination of the population will take months. However, high-risk individuals are to be considered first. The following categories of people will be given first consideration to access the vaccines. The elderly at 75 years and above, Individuals with underlying health conditions with high risk factor regardless of their age. Individuals who live in a retirement or care home and staff who are in contact with residents of such homes also have the option of being vaccinated. Individuals within the age bracket of 65 and 74. Individuals under 65 years with chronic diseases who are yet to be vaccinated. In addition to high-risk individuals highlighted above, the vaccination will also be offered to the following target groups in corresponding order. Healthcare professionals who have had direct contact with patients and caregivers, close contacts such as household members and relatives providing care of people in the high-risk groups, people in communal facilities with an increased risk of infection and outbreaks, for example, asylum centers. The later stage of vaccination will address all other adults over the age of 16. Provisions for pregnant women and children under 16 years of age have not been made according to studies. Where can I get vaccinated? The cantons are responsible for vaccination. You can find out when and where you can get vaccinated from the authorities in your canton. If you do not have internet access, you can call the National COVID-19 Vaccination Info Line at 058-377-8892 daily from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. to find out the responsible office in your canton. On the website of your canton, you will also find information on how to register. The registration can also be done by a doctor or a trusted person. How often do I need to be vaccinated? You need two doses of the vaccine. You can have the second dose about four weeks after the first one. Only then are you immune as much as possible. At the moment, experts are studying how long the vaccination protects us. Is the vaccination effective and safe? The Swiss Agency for Therapeutic Products, Swiss Medic, has carefully examined the COVID-19 vaccine and only then approved it. Although the vaccine was developed and approved in record time, it had to meet the same strict criteria as previous vaccines. It's safe and effective. 
Already tens of thousands of people have received the vaccine in trials. No lasting health effects are known so far. There can be side effects with any vaccination, most often, for example, fatigue, headache, and fever. These symptoms are mild and usually pass quickly. Very rarely there are severe cases of side effects. For example, an allergic reaction right after the vaccination. This is the case, for example, in people who already have known severe allergies to components of the vaccines. This means that according to current knowledge, the risk of serious side effects after vaccination is much lower than the risk of becoming seriously ill after infection with coronavirus. Can a vaccine developed so quickly be safe? Normally, it takes longer to develop a vaccine. There are several reasons why it has happened so quickly. Finding a vaccine against COVID-19 is very important for many countries and a lot of funds have been invested. In addition, many scientists started looking for a vaccine at the same time. In the development of vaccines against the new coronavirus, the different phases of vaccine testing were done simultaneously rather than one after the other. However, all clinical trials were made and closely examined for approval. Who should not get vaccinated? COVID-19 vaccination is not recommended for the following individuals. Individuals with confirmed severe allergy to any component of the vaccine, especially polyethylene glycol, PEG, pregnant women, children and adolescents under 16 years of age. Postpone the vaccination date if you have a high fever, feel sick or unwell, are waiting for your COVID-19 test results, are in isolation or quarantine. Although vaccination protects against illness, it's not known today whether it will also protect against transmission of coronavirus. For the time being, proper hygiene and social distancing remains the safest way of protecting ourselves and others from coronavirus. If you have further questions about the COVID-19 vaccine, you can ask your doctor your pharmacy or the national info line for COVID-19 vaccination at plus four one five eight three seven seven eight eight nine two for advice. Remember to always keep safe, respect hygiene rules and stay healthy. Thank you.